I'm Judy Stiles. Thank you for joining us today on Newsmakers. Well, this semester at Missouri Southern State University has been the Korea semester. We've had many presentations and programs, and today we have the honor of visiting with the Honorable Jung Kuk Lee, the Consul General of Republic of Korea in Chicago. Thank you for being here today. That's my pleasure. Yeah. Um, you, when you found out that Missouri Southern was taking a full semester of looking at uh, Korea, what was your reaction? Yes, uh, uh, that's uh, quite impressive. Uh, the uh, uh, Missouri State University uh, uh, spent whole one semester mm -hmm. on every aspect of uh, Korea, from culture, food, and its uh, uh, North Korean issues. And so uh, I'm very much impressed and also very much thankful for uh, the uh, professor, uh, the uh, Stevens, mm -hmm. and uh, other faculty members who organized uh, this uh, Korean uh, semester. Well, we're yeah. glad that you're able to visit here as the semester's coming to an end. Uh, yeah. You are Consul General. Let's explain for our viewers, when you introduce yourself as Consul General, what does that mean? What responsibilities yeah. do you have with it? Yes. As you, uh, you know, uh, we have a consulate general uh, uh, office mm -hmm. across the U.S. Right. And of course, in addition to our embassy in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. So uh, consul general in Chicago uh, uh, geographically uh, covers uh, 13 uh, Midwest uh, mm -hmm. uh, states. Mm -hmm. Of course, Missouri Where is one of them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we uh, consulate general uh, uh, in Chicago promote uh, close uh, uh, ties and friendship uh, in various aspects, uh, politically right. and culturally, and also we have uh, around 270,000 uh, Korean diaspora, mm -hmm. uh, which are uh, very crucial, uh, you know, uh, playing crucial roles in. Uh, uh, bridging mm, between our two countries. So we also support their activities in, in this uh, purpose. And I understand yeah. you have the largest region in the United States. Yes, <laughs> so that's, that's right. Number of states. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of Korean citizens are living here in the United States, I should mm. say. Right? Yes, uh, in, across the U.S., uh, around 2.3 million mm -hmm. uh, Korean diaspora right. uh, are living. Uh, but as I mentioned, in the Midwest, uh, around 270,000 uh, Korean diaspora uh, yes, uh, are present. And here in this part. Yeah. Now, of course, we are at Missouri Southern State University. We see yeah. a lot of students. You also have a lot of students coming from Korea to study in the United States. Yes. Uh, as you know, uh, the United States uh, uh, has been the first uh, destination for Korean studies, uh, mm -hmm. Korean students to uh, to study uh, at the uh, higher uh, uh, educational level. Mm -hmm. So across the U.S., uh, 100, uh, I mean, uh, uh, 71,000 students are enrolled in universities, Korean students. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, it's, uh, you know, third largest foreign students uh, following in China and India. So uh, such a, a connection uh, in academic uh, and education uh, uh, has been one of the key elements uh, combining or, uh, our two countries' uh, closure uh, for a long time. And of course, we have students, there are, the Missouri Southern has exchange yeah. programs where some of our students go to yeah. Korea. Is yeah. that an important element as well, American students going to Korea to study? That's right, yeah. Uh, such a cooperation uh, where in education mm. uh, in, uh, uh, is also extended to such a exchange of uh, students uh, mutually. So mm -hmm. uh, I am very much, uh, uh, you know, uh, appreciated that the, the uh, uh, Missouri Southern uh, State University has has closed uh, such academic ties with. Uh, uh, several uh, South Korean universities. Uh, I hope this cooperation and partnership uh, continue to uh, expand mm -hmm. uh, into the future. 
Well, when you visited here, uh, you spoke a Korea-U.S. relations past, present, and future, talking yeah. about how mm -hmm. things have developed and where we are. And yeah. it's really a very timely topic because yeah. as we're recording this program, mm -hmm. President Trump is visiting yeah. Asia. So that's it right. ties right into international topics. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, that, that's true. Uh, President Trump uh, made a, an official visit just a mm -hmm. couple of days ago. Right. So, and particularly the North Korean nuclear issue has been uh, emerged uh, uh, as one of the uh, crucial uh, security issue to the United States and uh, South Korea, Japan, and also international community. Mm -hmm. So his visit uh, uh, is so important uh, at this time, at this junc junction of time. So you see it's yeah. very important to have that type of discussion among the many countries that are involved. Yes, that's right. And tying that yeah. together. Yeah. Um, the, the many aspects that the United States and Korea have similar ties, you mentioned mm. education, but uh, the economy, business, there are yeah. many business ties between yeah. our countries. Yes. I, today I talked about the, our uh, economic ties mm -hmm. uh, between our two countries, uh, which is uh, uh, another uh, key pillar uh, in our uh, 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 relations uh, between uh, South Korea and the U.S. So we had uh, we, we agreed that the free trade agreement five years ago, right. and since then many Korean companies uh, invested in the U.S. Uh, automobile area and the uh, auto parts and in many other uh, areas. So uh, such a uh, investment. Uh, which is uh, indeed uh, creating many jobs in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, would uh, be uh, uh, a key element uh, of our economic ties. Yeah. So when we people look at products from Korea, they th realize yeah. you're talking about uh, Kia, different companies yeah. that the uh, like phone, cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> There's that, a lot that yeah. are coming yes. from Korea and that, tying right. us together. Yeah, that's right. So I I'm very. Uh, uh, glad to see that the uh, such a Korean products uh, uh, have been a uh, uh, household names mm -hmm. in in the U.S. Uh, for a long time, uh, and the, the the technologies and designs of right. Korean products are recognized by the co uh, American consumers. That that's I really happy to witness. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. I know that um, there's also the trade of America trading with Korea and mm -hmm. within a month or so the governor of Missouri I believe went to Korea to that's visit right. on a trade mission. Yes that's right yeah just a couple of months ago uh, Governor uh, Greitens mm -hmm. made an official visit to South Korea uh, with a, a, a business delegation. Right. Uh, I also communicated with him uh, frequently Mm -hmm. uh, to enhance our mutual interest, so uh, we will we will also uh, continue to discuss uh, further to uh, make uh, some tangible uh, outcome in in this effort. So there are companies in Missouri who are interested in yeah. working selling in Korea yeah, and working that's abroad right. yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already many uh, products uh, from Missouri mm -hmm. uh, are exported to Korea, right. pharmaceutical and also agriculture mm -hmm. and uh, meat products uh, are well uh, sold to Korean consumers, which are originated from uh, Missouri State. Yeah. So our state yeah. is a key player in the oh, yeah. <laughs> trade and what is yeah, going on right. and tying yeah. things together. Yeah. You mentioned the nuclear challenges. Of course, the U.S. and Korea mm -hmm. have had military relations for many years, uh, yeah. mutual, I guess. That's right, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, security cooperation mm -hmm. uh, is the most important, uh, one of the most important pillars for over half century since the Korean War. Right. Yeah, we are, South Korea is one of few uh, allies uh, of the U.S. in, in Asia. So this is uh, mutually uh, uh, beneficial and particularly in the face of uh, this uh, challenge of uh, North Korean nuclear issue, uh, our uh, cooperation uh, based on such a, a, a yeah, alliance uh, uh, relationship uh, uh, looming larger and larger, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in the future.
You brought up something in your presentation. Of course, people are familiar with we have U.S. troops in Korea, but Korean mm. troops have helped support the United States in different yeah. conflicts as well. Yeah, that's right. So uh, during the Cold War year, uh, we joined uh, the U.S. Uh, forces in Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also uh, after the po uh, po during the post Cold War uh, time, also we uh, joined the uh, uh, UN, UN peacekeeping as a part of UN peacekeeping forces forces mm -hmm. in Iraq, Afghanistan, and many other countries uh, side by side with the uh, US. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're continuing mm -hmm. to work side by side, and yeah. so it's a, as you say, it's yeah. a mutual p working that, together. I'm that's right. Mm -hmm. So in the past, South Korea uh, 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 benefit w was benefited from assist from the US mm -hmm. and the many other uh, friends of uh, international community. But now uh, we are uh, willing to, uh, you know, uh, keeping in mind such a uh, help from other countries. We, of course, U.S. Uh, was the front, mm -hmm. so we are going to, uh, you know, uh, to help others uh, in security areas, also in uh, also uh, development assistance. Also, we are uh, providing um, huge uh, our resources to help. Uh, uh, developing countries, okay. and uh, uh, we are also dispatching uh, young volunteers mm -hmm. in many developing countries. The number is only after the U.S., okay. like equivalent of mm -hmm. a peacekeeping force. So yeah. you're helping throughout uh, the world yeah, as course. well, the yeah. Peace Corps. Yeah, Peace Corps, yeah. And tying right. people together. Yeah. So. For the uh, young people of Korea, then, they have many opportunities uh, yeah. to go global as well. That's right, yeah. So yeah, that is uh, important. We are living in a globalized world, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, to give a young uh, generation to you know uh, uh, to such a global environment is also very much important mm -hmm. uh, for their exploring future career and their perspectives. Yeah. Now, I know that I have an information sheet that you brought mm -hmm. with you about Korea, but yeah. it talks about your education and. Yeah very successful system says the illiteracy rate is only one percent so yes. education is very highly prized <laughs> yes yeah uh, Korea is lacking in any, uh, any meaningful natural resources mm. uh, so the only uh, resources we uh, rely on is the human resources so uh, the our parents uh, really uh, devoted themselves uh, to to the educating mm -hmm. uh, of their uh, children, so such a uh, uh, mm, high level of uh, you know uh, passion to educate their children, uh, uh, I think uh, contributed uh, greatly to you know improving our uh, you know uh, uh, living standards mm -hmm. economically and also in other uh, aspects as well. So sharing with the next generation, that yeah. that continues. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and working yeah. together. So yeah. uh, helping those educational benefits for improving yeah. the country. And yeah. I imagine that when it comes to the research of big uh, uh, semiconductors, that type of research, you have a lot yeah. of people who are interested in the sciences. Mm, yes, yeah. So the, the number of pay, uh, patents uh, uh, by Korean companies mm -hmm. or Korean uh, academics and others are now uh, ranked um, just fourth in the world. Mm. Yeah, so uh, such in education uh, and now bringing uh, in such a, you know, a meaningful outcomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And helping you grow. Yeah. You had some statistics you showed at the presentation about how much things have changed in just yeah. 50 years, that yes. it really has been an amazing growth, amazing mm -hmm. change. Yeah. So. Our experience uh, is uh, somewhat different from uh, European countries or mm -hmm. United States. Uh, these countries started industrialization uh, more than two centuries ago, right. but Korea, uh, well, a late uh, starter. Uh, we suffered the Korean War, and then uh, we launched our uh, economic development in uh, just in 1960s. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we are well. Mm, it's a this kind of a, a tremendous uh, change, maybe an outcome of a 
as I mentioned, uh, investment in education and also uh, a leadership mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, the, where we put uh, uh, set our goal uh, in, 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 in the country. Yeah, so many several uh, 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 factors, I think, combined together and worked uh, uh, so that we could uh, uh, get such an uh, outcome. And this yeah. has really increased the quality of living for South Korea, your lifestyle, uh, yeah. you mentioned you know, the electrical grid. I mean, there's really yes, modernization yeah. of the country. Yes, yeah, and, yeah, that's right. And yeah. tying that together. Yeah. Earlier you mentioned the nuclear question, which I'm sure mm -hmm. viewers are curious about. Uh, in the United mm -hmm. States, I'm sure we have a different perspective than mm -hmm. people in South Korea do when mm -hmm. they hear about that. Well, uh, the current U.S. administration's uh, uh, focus or some part of the uh, uh, seem to be uh, uh, focusing on some uh, uh, stick aspect uh, mm -hmm. in ha handling uh, uh, North Korea, but we, if we, uh, we uh, watch very carefully, uh, then U.S. government uh, still uh, are interested in some dialogue with North Korea mm -hmm. in, uh, eventually to solve uh, this North Korean nuclear issue. So our position is that the, the war should not be uh, uh, broken in, in the Korean Peninsula, and then uh, now sanction. Uh, maybe uh, we have to uh, uh, to see what the, the change in North Korea will mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the face of these uh, sanctions. But uh, at the same time, uh, we repeatedly send messages to North Korea that we are uh, uh, ready. To uh, to talk with uh, with North Korea in order to, in order to solve this uh, crucial issue. So willingness to discuss and That's to right. work together yeah. on yeah. things. And, yeah. and are there many people that still have relatives living in North Korea that are in South Korea? Families have been separated many yeah. many years. Yeah, you know, uh, such a, uh, the separation lasted uh, more than um, five six decades. Mm -hmm. And they could not see, they could not know who, whether their parents or their brothers and sisters are still uh, alive. Mm -hmm. They are very old. Uh, so this is a really a, 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 a pamper, you know, situation, humanitarian situation. Mm -hmm. So we try it harder uh, to make them to meet their uh, relatives, right. family members. Uh, of us. But uh, given the the current Korean, you know, uh, situation, uh, even early this year, we proposed to North Korea to hold a Red Cross uh, meeting mm -hmm. in order to, you know, talk this uh, 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 the uh, reunion program. But North Korea rejected that mm -hmm. proposal. So that's a very uh, sorry, uh, you know. Uh, so we urge North Korea uh, to pay this issue, this humanitarian issue, yeah. as uh, uh, this group of people are so old. So before they passed away, let's give us the last chance to meet their uh, families. Right. Yeah. Tying that together. Yeah. Well, I want also want to mention today for our viewers that uh, we have a special mm -hmm. in the winter, the Winter Olympics coming to Korea, yes, South Korea. So right. I have yeah. a brochure that you also yeah. brought about that. Yeah. A big moment of pride for your country to host an Olympics again. Yes, that's right. As uh, as you know, uh, we hosted the uh, Summer Olympic in mm -hmm. 1988. Right. So this is the first time uh, for uh, South Korea to host uh, Winter Olympic. And it's uh, just uh, uh, three months away, mm -hmm. so we want to be uh, that uh, I, I one of the most successful Winter uh, Olympics, as we did uh, uh, during our Summer Olympic in 1988. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you really have the eyes of the world watching you, and it's a chance yeah. to share culture as well. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> Olympic is a uh, really a festival mm -hmm. of sports. Right. So. Uh, we want to show uh, our culture, including uh, many young generations uh, mm -hmm. like uh, K-pop, yeah, mm -hmm. 
So we want to uh, we are invite uh, many uh, uh, foreign guests mm -hmm. to try our culture aspect as well. Right. So that's yeah. part of the sharing, a sharing culture and tying right. things together yeah. as well. Yeah. I also wanted to ask you, as far as your interests, you have uh, worked in the uh, government services. Yeah. Uh, what sparked your initial interest years ago to pursue this career? I'm well, uh, w when I joined the uh, foreign service, mm -hmm. uh, still the word globalization uh, uh, was far away. Mm. So uh, my interest uh, at that time was, well, try to uh, expose myself to such a, uh, a, a globe. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's the motivation I, I joined the foreign service. Yeah. And so, so you have been able to travel many places around the world in yeah. doing so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, uh, as a foreign service officer, I, was, uh, I had been forced in many countries in Europe, mm -hmm. in Asia, in mid, mid, Middle East, uh, in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that, that's a very unique ex uh, yeah, experience uh, to me. Now, your interest, of course, initially in, in international relations studies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're at a university where we may have some students who are interested in international relations. Oh, Would you yeah. recommend that to them, to pursue those interests? Oh, that's, uh, that's right. Uh, yes, I strongly recommend, uh, yes, international relations, yeah. I, I, I majored uh, international relations and I practiced international relations mm -hmm. for a long time. So uh, such a uh, mm, such issue of uh, security or mm -hmm. uh, economic uh, uh, global issues and other things. Uh, this uh, deserve uh, to to study and to practice. So I strongly recommend <laughs> these students. Yeah, so who, the younger yeah. generation needs to follow in your footsteps that, and pursue right. those interests. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and tie yeah. that as well. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah. what do you enjoy the most in your position of responsibility representing your country as Consul General? What is the most enjoyable part? Yeah, I, uh, as I mentioned, I, my responsibilities covers 13 Midwest states. Mm -hmm. So uh, I frequently visit uh, uh, these states. Right. So I meet the people and I visit universities mm -hmm. like this time. Uh, so I meet the faculty members there and I want to, uh, uh, to talk about the Korean studies program in many universities right. uh, the, uh, in Midwest, they offer Korean studies program here in uh, Chicago, uh, here in uh, uh, Joplin and uh, mm -hmm. Southern, uh, uh, the uh, Missouri State University also. Uh, mm -hmm taught the uh, Korea for one semester. So I hope uh, this kind of a conversation uh, with uh, students and faculties gave me a, uh, a joy mm -hmm. and also uh, as a mm, mm, foreign service officer, uh, uh, also uh, that's a very uh, uh, you know, interesting area. So yeah. you're able to share back with the people in Korea, in government, oh. of what is happening. People are interested here in Missouri and mid the Midwest. That's yes. right, yeah. Good relations. Yeah, yeah certainly. Yeah. You're tying that together yeah. and working together. Uh, yeah. when, when you c represent Chicago in the Midwest, of course, mm -hmm. you are part of a major you know, system in here in the United States. Uh, yeah. Would you say that the Midwest is really a, has a lot, a lot of strengths when it comes yeah. to relations? Yes. Uh, uh, well. Midwest is, the, as I mentioned, uh, the largest part of uh, the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, and industrial-wise, it's right. uh, mm, the uh, even though still many people say about the declining uh, trend of uh, mm, the manufacturing right. industry, but mm -hmm. still uh, Midwest, the such a manufacturing industry has a. Uh, uh, s still key, you know, industry, and also um, agriculture, uh, dairy, dairy uh, mm -hmm. industry, also very important. Uh, even to Korea's point of view, we are uh, one of the key importers of uh, agricultural products, meat, mm -hmm. and also uh, dairy products right. from Midwest. Okay. So, uh, education. Mm -hmm. Many Korean students, as I mentioned. Uh, 
uh, enrolled in universities across Midwest. So uh, that's what the Midwest represent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not only to uh, only to Korea, but many other uh, countries. So uh, we uh, we value this uh, uh, what the Midwest provides to the U.S. and to the world. For the world ties. Yes. yes. So that globalization mm -hmm. you mentioned has really, yeah. you said it wasn't a word really when you started, but it is truly today, globalization. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, of course, there are some mm, negative effects uh, mm -hmm. uh, and many people are concerned about that, but the uh, globalization is, would be irreversible uh, trend. So uh, we have to accept that, but at the same time, we have to uh, minimize the uh, side effects mm -hmm. of that. I think that's, that's the, the uh, uh, proper approach in this uh, matter. So there's a yeah. sense of respect for each other's cultures, but that's working together in many yes, cases. Yeah, certainly, yeah. And working together yeah, in time. Yeah, this we, yeah, we have to, yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I'd like to thank you very much as you've been mm -hmm. here at Missouri Southern sharing today with yeah. our students and our faculty and our yeah. larger audience is watching on television. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, very glad uh, to be here uh, uh, at uh, Missouri uh, Southern State University mm -hmm. and to meet to get, uh, with the students and faculty members and also, uh, well, MISO has a good uh, academic ties with the Korean okay. universities mm -hmm. uh, already. So I hope uh, such a cooperation will continue to expand uh, each other. And uh, in the course, if uh, it is necessary, I'm willing to extend my hands uh, uh, for such a uh, amicable uh, academic ties. Great. So a lot of yeah. opportunities for the future. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, I'd like to thank you for visiting with me today on the program as well. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And I'd like to thank mm. the audience for watching us this week on Newsmakers. I'm Judy Stiles. Mm. Hope you can join me again next week at the same time on the station. We've had a presentation or here on campus today, and we have, have had the opportunity to visit with the Consul General from the Republic of Korea. And thank you for tuning in for this program. I'll see you again next week at the same time on the station.